What's up guys, it's your favorite twins and today for the first time we are listening to Frank Ocean's Blonde. Seven years late, you know, some might call us uncultured. And they'd be right. And, and we'll take that slander. Yeah, I've gone blonde at least twice since this released and never thought to Never thought listen. to do it. And I could have done the right thing mm -hmm. and reacted to this while I was blonde. Yeah. But I wanted to be rebellious. I am totally aware of the social and cultural impact this album has had. Yes. Uh, <laughs> That's why it's even more embarrassing. I that know. We're just listening to this on and offline, we have been <laughs> pushed. Yes. To finally listen to this project, uh, Frank Ocean is a fixture in yeah. our culture. So it's only right with the album turning seven that we finally listen. Yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, I will say this is probably one of my favorite album covers that I do by an artist. With. I yeah. think it is. It's just so simple. Yeah. Um, I love that blonde isn't spelled with an E on the cover. Which is uh, something I wanted to get into, actually. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's little details and stuff like that. Yeah. Following up Channel Orange, you know, Frank said that this would be another concept album. I don't know the concept. Um, I did no. try to find it, <laughs> but um, I have an idea. Okay. So for the first part of this video, I wanted to do a little bit of a discussion. Okay. That way we could have a, a better idea going in and listening to the music. Okay. This is Frank's second studio album, um, but I wanted to start with the title. Okay. Because I don't know if you noticed, but the way that it's spelt on streaming services, it ends with an E. On the cover, it ends with a D. It says here, you know, Genius is our source. Yeah. I uh, don't know if it's always correct, but it's got like a 99.9% success rate. So. Uh, one aspect of the album that has been subject is the title. Specifically, the reason why the title is spelled differently on the album cover. Fans have speculated that the use of blonde, ending with a D, on the album cover and blonde on the album listing is a reference to Frank's bisexuality and the themes of duality between masculinity and femininity in his life, with blonde being the masculine form and blonde being the feminine. Makes sense? So oh like, my goodness. You're getting both with oh, wow. the title as it's listed and oh. on the album cover. Wait, that's actually... So that's like really slick and I already see fuck. this is going to be a breakdown video. Oh yes, for sure. Um, that's genius as fuck. Then, the word blonde itself holds two interpretations. The first is that children normally have blonde hair that darkens to brown as they get older. Uh, so I guess it could oh, be like a reflection goodness. of his younger years, wow. detailing his innocence and purity, and then the loss of that. You guys know we talk about that all the time on the channel, just how things change as you get older and, you know, how life is forever evolving. Yeah, I um, so I'm excited to hear how that plays into it. Apparently it makes the album play out as more autobiographical than any of his other works. So the second interpretation is the symbolism of blonde hair. Blondes are considered to be thoughtless and carefree. Interesting. So, As he has green hair on the cover. And you know that always confused me. And I, I see here that the album's concepts explore falling in and out of love, mm -hmm. uh, self-love and hate, failed relationships, family, drug, depression. I... Mm. But that truly is, if we're speaking on, you know, the evolution with the idea of blonde hair transitioning into brown mm -hmm. um, for some children. I love that because those are pivotal moments in life when yeah. it comes to falling out of love or depression or family issues or things like that that's you just watch that transition you watch that journey yeah so when i think of blonde even though we haven't heard it just off of that i see them as a journey and that that's dope to me yeah. I, I i love that so oh that made me hmm. Very excited. Very excited. The album apparently has an eclectic and atmospheric feel with drifting guitars and beatless melodies. Okay. So, you know, I, I see a lot of five minute tracks. And yeah. uh, there's a lot you can do with five minutes <laughs> and nine minutes. And nine minutes. So, you know, my attention is here. Yes. All right. I also read that the album is kind of split into two parts. So I wonder if yeah. you feel that. I don't know at what point it switches. It's cerebral, non macho, boundary free RB. So. Excited. Before we get started, of course, you know we have to shout out our Patreon. Over there you can find exclusive and full length reactions. So, if you're into that kind of thing, head over there. Love the beat so far. Who this? Okay. Check. 
<laughs> so that's the lead single off the album. That was the lead. It paints a very interesting picture. It does. Um, almost conflicting. It, it almost feels like a song about loyalty, oddly enough. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you know, I think in the first verse, these bitches want Nikes, they're looking for a check. Almost as if he's being used in a way. But I see this, there's also this sense of like not getting too close, not being too vulnerable, keeping it surface level, keeping it materialistic. I was reading even here, Nike's is a critique of the trappings of materialistic hedonism with a frequent mention of Nike's shoes, shiny gold and glitter, and fantasies of pleasure. That is definitely what the song, Yeah, it felt like more like, like a, a song about the lifestyle. That yeah, more of a glorification yeah. of, of it. The video for the song, potentially taking inspiration from Heaven's Gate, mm -hmm. That cult. Interesting. I really did like this. I think this was five minutes well spent. Well yeah. spent. Like every ounce of it. I loved the instrumentation. Um, I loved the effect on his voice in the beginning and then how it kind of transitioned into his normal voice. I did not realize that Frank has more of a hip hop flow. Yeah, he can. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. when singing, so that was kind of dope to hear that as well. Yeah. I also like that the song kind of touches on family as well, so yeah. a little cousin that's got a trade and the girlfriend, and I love the mermaid oh, references, yeah, so, yeah. again, your word loyalty was used well. You know how we, we read, you know, what the album kind of talks about and touches on, it feels like Nike's is a little bit of all of that, so yeah. it serves as a really good introduction to the rest of the album, because it's kind of giving you the topic up front, yes. which isn't just one topic, you know what I mean? It, this song feels like an umbrella to a lot. Yeah. And so I like how the song jumps around. They all have this common thing, like this common underlined uh, point. Yes. Which is how fucked up situations can be. Yes. But they show themselves in different ways. So that's uh, yeah. what Nikes feels like. But it always comes down to the, that one line. Uh, These bitches want Nikes. Yeah. Which can, you know... Mean so many things. Mean so many things. Yeah. yeah. I thought that I was dreaming when you said you loved me. Nikes, you said that I know I'm younger, but I also got I still look after you, but I still look after you. And here he's saying I ain't a kid no more, but I also think about the point of blonde, possibly, po possibly about how we grow, yeah, and we change. Hmm. I thought that I was 
started nothing. Yeah, yeah I like this one. Yeah. We started nothing. Ooh, I can feel you now. sounded like a nightmare um this felt like a live session like yeah almost like a practice session yeah the way it ended i should say where yeah. you kind of like take apart all the equipment now or yeah. you know with all the glitches and the feedback uh so that was a cool one sonically um i really liked that song me too i, I did like that song you know frank reflecting on his mistakes and exploring a failed relationship because i and like just how like started, ugh, nothing, yeah. started nothing like something that had no promise something that was always never going to go anywhere yeah and it's like you got my hopes up you know you had me invested and then it, it ended just the way didn't, it did yeah, yeah it didn't go anywhere and yeah. i see that's kind of a continuation from thinking about you i like this lyrically because mm -hmm. at the end of the day although it was a failed relationship right. the feeling deep down is still good yeah because at some point, I still loved you. Mm -hmm. So, you were still able to make me feel something. Yeah. Um, even though it ended up being nothing. Yeah, um, that's true. Love the bridge. And I see here that they were saying that his voice kind of transitioned. Noting, like, the transition. Because saying, like, we're not those kids anymore. Yeah. So, kind yeah, of yeah. showing that age yeah. and that development. So, that was dope. I, I like... Uh, the lyricism so far. Mm. Very, very well done. It's almost like he summarizes a lot lyrically. Yeah, I like and, that. But summarizes different situations within the same verse. I notice the verses are very drawn out and he yeah. always has a lot to say. That's why, like, I, I guess I'm noticing about his songwriting that it's not completely structured. It's a little more abstract, which makes it easier to relate to. Yeah, it makes because it easier Because he could to say to. anything, and even if it's just one line, there is something in there that you can always relate to. So I do like that. Yes. I, I, I mean, might be one of my favorites. Yeah, I will say, especially from, like, you know, people in our personal lives, they, the way they relate to this album is yeah. really incredible to see that. So I can't wait to... Feel that too. Yeah, I'm know? starting. To, I'm starting to see it. Yeah. And that's how you start a song. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but that's how okay. you start a song. Yeah, you know. That's how, listen, listen. Let's uh, run it back. Let's run it listen, back. Listen, Nikes and Ivy are amazing. Yeah. They have a slower that start, one. but that's how you start yes. a song. I don't care. I just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's the way every day goes. Every time we've no control. The sky is pink and white. It's the same way you show me. Oh, I. My head don't close my eyes. Up and off, it's getting cold. So I like that. The way it is, we're on land. So I'm someone no more true. Don't let you down when it's all ruined. Love that. It's the same way you show me. Show me. Oh, ruin, ruin. This song is striking me as like in memory. 
Okay. Yeah, a lot of this is very past tense. Yeah. And a lot of reminiscing on something. And a lot of what the ifs. Past. Yeah. The what ifs. Is, let's get it. No, he did not. Is that who I think That's it is? That's Beyonce? Oh! You know what? She heard the beginning and said, let me get on that Let one. me get on that! I want that one. Oh my god! That's what I'm gonna do. Add that mic! Oof. I want to hear this in the next one. Many college students have gone to college and gotten hooked on drugs, marijuana, and alcohol. Stop trying to be somebody else. Don't try to be someone else. Now, who is be this? yourself and know that that's good enough. Be secure with yourself. Rely and trust upon your own decisions. Don't use that cocaine or marijuana because that stuff is highly addictive. When people become weed heads, they become sluggish, lazy, stupid, and unconcerned. Sluggish, lazy, she stupid. Said, let me say that again. Unless you're taking it under doctor's um, control. Do not get in the car with someone who is inebriated. This is mom. Call me. Bye. Ooh. Oh, I love This that. is mom. Call me. Bye. Right. Can we go back to... Uh, Let's go back to Pink and White. white. Uh, definitely probably my favorite. Pro my favorite, well, yeah. Well, she's fighting Ivy, but... I think that's my favorite I think so Pink far. and White was a beautiful song. Uh, I want to highlight the second verse. Clearly, uh, we're speaking on an actual hurricane. It was Hurricane Katrina. Um, wow. Leads me to think, in what way does he relate to that? This felt like an ode to somebody that yeah. has either passed or someone from his past. And I think about even, like, the outro... Uh, remember life, remember how it was, climb trees, Michael Jackson, who is no longer with us. <laughs> right. um, all ends here, say what up to Matthew. But I, uh, that's true. Um, they're Steely's childhood friends. I don't know. But, okay, um, shout out to Steely. They were in um, the Boys Don't Cry magazine. However, it sounded like he was speaking to people of the past and kind yeah. of just, I, I guess, but, but even immortality. I might like immortality. Yeah. Um to be immortal. It's interesting and and to get Beyonce on this song. My Crazy. Dad, who has such an angelic voice. Those yeah. back those harmonies, angelic. It just reminds me of you are ascending. Is honestly yeah. what it reminded me of. So t for this song to kind of touch on someone that's past, that was the perfect yeah, addition there. And then to go into be yourself, a song that touches on things that Slowly but surely kill you. And whether you're It's way, so yeah. interesting coming after pink and white. I, I love any time artists include voice messages. Oh, God, it's so personal. It's yes. so personal. So personal. Um, and I loved it. And the fact that it was a uh, not even his own mom, but a childhood friend's mom giving that advice, whether the yeah. voice was meant for Frank or that friend. Yeah. It's just, it tied in perfectly. Again, we're seeing here the development and the journey. Yeah. And that voicemail was perfect because you're entering a new phase in life. I don't know. I'm 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 interested and and solo. I want to know yeah. what that's about now. Now you're you're piquing my curiosity here, yeah. and I want to see what kind of story you're telling, Frank. Yeah. Interesting. I also wanted to just add that like it seems as though he is observing a lot going on around him, and yeah. you know highlighting the line. It's the same way you showed me. This person taught him how to accept that he cannot impose his will upon the world. And he learns to embrace things he cannot control. Love it. I think that it's very easy to feel lost in the world. It's very easy to feel helpless, can't control something. Yeah. But there is a yeah. power that is gained when you learn to accept what you can't control and move on what you can. Yeah. That is something very powerful about that. When you become an observer of the world rather than, you know, getting stuck in it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I, I guess the title is off the, the sky, if the sky is pink and white. Oh, like a sunset? Uh, yeah, kind of like a sunset, maybe where the sun is going down. Maybe the brighter days are going down, because he said it's, it's all downhill from here. Usually, we're good at figuring <laughs> out these things. I think we're getting somewhere, but, but this is, like I was saying, it's very abstract work. I think that this is a project that you kind of figure out more as yeah, time goes, goes on, on. and yeah. the more that you listen so yeah. yeah 
pink and white was off. <laughs> Hand me a towel, I'm dirty dancing by myself Gone no tabs, of that acid Form me a circle, watch my Jagger One time We too loud in public, then police turn down a function Now we outside and the time is perfect And we don't gotta be solo And I stay away from highways My eyes like them red lights Right now, I prefer yellow I love that, stay away from highways And then, yeah, so getting high. My yeah, eyes are like the red lights. Oh, I was gonna yeah. say, it's interesting that coming off "Be Yourself," where he's being warned, or this childhood friend is being warned, to not fall into these things. He's yeah. now going to talk about how he did, maybe. Yeah. Maybe for storyline purposes, we don't know if, if Frank fell into any of that, yeah. but you know, based on the uh, order of the album and the sequencing, that's yeah. really cool. Because now, it's kind of like, you know when you're doing something you know you shouldn't be, yeah. and someone's voice rings in your head? Uh-huh. That's what the sequencing feels like. Absolutely. I got that act right in the windy city that night. No trees to blow through, but blow me, and I owe you hey. two grams in the sunrise. So low. Oh. So low. So low. So low. It's hell on me. And the city's on fire In hell, in hell, there's heaven Oh, yes Oh, 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 oh. Yes. yes Yes, this is it In hell, there's oh, heaven So loud uh, Okay, alright, alright I I feel like this is a little bit of a. Uh, this is disrespectful. This is targeted harassment. I'm skipping showers and switching socks, sleeping good and long. Bones feeling this is fuck. Wish a nigga would cross and catch a solo. And that means cheap, cause ain't shit free, and I know it. Even love ain't, cause it's not cost. Hit the pussy, Rado. Now your baby mama ain't so vicious. All she want is a picket fence and you protest and you pick a sign, but them courts won't side with you. But it's just me and no you stayed up till my phone died. There's a love is for us. Yeah, in the sky. In hell, in hell, there's heaven. Ah, ah. So I'm sorry, Rosie, but that is something you smoke too. Um, yeah, I I really like that one. Me too. Uh, lot, that's actually. probably my second favorite. Um, yeah, this one had a little bit more of a traditional structure, like you yeah. said. Love that chorus. His voice felt like it was at the forefront. It sounded a little bit stronger. Yeah, on that one. Um, love the meaning because. It's almost like this upside and downside to being alone, right? Yeah. When you're alone, sometimes you can find peace. Sometimes there's clarity. Sometimes there's less noise to where you can think and get to know yourself better. But other times when you're alone, sometimes it's a little depressing, right? Yeah. And it can cause you to feel so low. Yeah. And when you feel so low... <laughs> you resort to... Going higher. Going higher. So, yeah. I, I, I like the chorus for that simple fact that, you know, the verses I feel like were telling, you know, two polar opposite uh, views. Yeah. I feel like the first verse was him on the drugs, maybe? Yeah. And then the second verse was him kind of coming off of it where it was a little more depressed. It's like, I'm skipping showers and switching socks, sleeping good and long. What I love yeah. about the inhale, inhale, there's heaven, is that when you inha inhale, you know you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. So it's kind of like, hell's like that bad thing for you, you know? Yeah. But then there's yeah. heaven in that there's because all my it. pain goes away. Yes, yes. So it's this, you know, euphoric-like feeling. I actually want to say that I don't know if I like Solo better than Pink and White. I don't Damn. know. That, that's a, that's I don't a, know. Was that a single? You know how what I was saying about observing the world? world yeah there is this thing i think that happens with humans where it's like we may not be going through anything personally yeah but seeing what other people go through can make us a little pessimistic yes and a little afraid of life and a little oh, afraid yeah. of living not yeah. saying that's, that that's what's happening here but my point is that when he says you know Cause ain't shit free and I know it. Even love ain't. Now your baby mama ain't so vicious. All she wants is her picket fence. He he's talking about things that he's observed and he's seen and yeah. it can kinda make you a little bit bitter toward life. Yeah. And make you want to remain alone because you don't want to go through those things. Yeah. So that's what it also reminded me of. Kinda like even high thoughts. So um Yeah. I like oh, solo. This was this was a good one. Yeah. 
This is joy, this is summer Ooh. Keep alive Got your medal on Making sweet love, taking time The guy strikes us Now, I don't know why God would strike them But if we are touching on bisexuality at all Does that play a part here? Frank paints an intimate love scene, but he contrasts the aura with the reminder that the Bible depicts God as being anti-homosexuality. So, I, I, again, I don't want to, like, add things that aren't there. Well, I see that. But that's how it hit me immediately. Yeah. Or it could just be the fact that, like, they make whoever love, he's yeah. making love with, they're just doing something wrong and they shouldn't be doing it. And, yeah. You know. That's a pretty long third gear in this car. I like how it's muffled. Well, I know. Pretty fucking underneath moonlight now. Comes the morning hunting us with the beams So it's the same as far as it used to be It begins to blur, we get older Smoke I like that Hey You're just throwing out words and thoughts Wanna get soaked? Huh? Wanna film a tape on a speedboat? California Everything Cation. grows in the Congo Ooh. Everything grows to me is like almost like high thoughts yeah yeah it's you're talking about everything and anything like honestly all those thoughts have no cohesion like you're just thinking yeah, not about really. everything relationships yeah. and you know the, the years fly by somewhere like it used to be you're just yeah. thinking about everything now i was reading that this can also play as a interlude or like a split within the album where Maybe sonically or topic wise, it's going to change because it felt to me like an interlude, just a longer interlude. Yeah, yeah, but it also felt like the heaven that he's found in inhaling. Oh, so it's almost like we true. went through solo, right? And now we're kind of at that point in the high, maybe where you know all these feelings of bliss are coming through, even if they sound like you know dark thoughts or dark topics, yeah, there's still this feeling of bliss. You know what I mean? Because he still meets it with this idea of love making. Yeah, this piece brought by the high is worth the same as a gold piece and is worth more than a friend. I don't know. I think this was another interesting one. This was. I'm um, curious to see what self control is about. But I see here initially Kendrick Lamar was rumored to be featured, and that would have been dope as fuck. Poolside combo about your summer last night. Could I make it shot last night? Could I make it shot on the last night? Do we have time? Hey. Bonded life, a more innocent life, maybe. Maybe. And then Nose is on a rare little virgin wears the white, so it's like maybe she's being introduced to, to a new lifestyle that isn't so innocent. Keep a place for me. Yeah. 
artists fill up the song yes oh that was so that. good okay oh, so good. with self-control I see it as a relationship that was more so adolescent mm -hmm. or one partner was a little bit more mature than the other Naive, and maybe yeah. and that could potentially be why it didn't work out because the other person just wasn't ready Frank made them have to use their self-control, mm -hmm. um, which could be putting them in more so grown situations, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, but then that person made Frank lose his self-control. Mm -hmm. And so that dynamic just doesn't work. Yeah. It's clashing too much. Mm -hmm. I love how you start off with a really squeaky effect, and then you transition into, you know, Young, young Lean. Lean. I really like his voice on the beat. Mm -hmm. And then you just have that, that outro. It seems as though this person put up that wall and said we can't and put up that boundary that we can't see each other anymore yeah. and that was that person having to use their self-control and he loses self-control by i guess maybe uh pushing for it and showing up and not giving up yeah but also that maybe like you said this person's being placed in positions to use their self-control maybe to avoid the drugs to avoid the alcohol whatever yeah and by doing that, it causes the disconnect, which makes Frank lose his self-control because this person is driving him to that point. Yes, absolutely. You know what I mean? Where it's absolutely. like, with everything that we're going through, you're making me lose myself. Absolutely. Because I'm just so, like, involved with you and I don't uh, want to lose you. Absolutely. That it can cause you to turn to those things. So that's just kind of what was going through my head as well. Uh, you pretty much said everything, I think. I loved um, it. Yeah, he can't control himself around them and wants to be their number one, at least for that night. So uh, the picture comes that maybe he showed up and they're like, hey, you gotta go. And he's like, just give, just give me just 24 give hours. Just give me 24 hours. 12. It's your good guy, he's a bit up. If I was anywhere, I should look you up. Okay. I, first time I didn't saw you. Small detail, but the eye uh, from self control, it sounded like he carried that same. Um, oh, good point. Same thing over. It's a gay ball, you took me too. Okay. It's when I realized you talk so much more than I do. I, ah. it's I, no, you don't need me right now. And to you, it's just a lady, night out. This nigga, all the bitches in the neighborhood want to fuck this nigga. Yeah, I ain't got bitches no more. But now I don't care about bitches like that, my nigga. That shit, Jasmine fucking wrecked my heart. I don't even know how to feel about bitches. Round the city, round the clock. Everybody needs you. No, you can't make everybody need you. Oh, we'll hear this. We got it. Cause I like how I said I don't even know how to feel about bitches, but it cut off at bye. I caught that. I don't know if that's intentional. Me either. But I don't I know if we're reading that. too deep. But I caught that. But you did take me to that gay bar. That song felt like a writing session, a venting session. That song yes. felt like uh, just again maybe those thoughts that are coming in, and yeah. almost like he was putting together something. I am very excited for nights. Yeah, me too. Very excited. It sounds really good. Um, but I didn't want to just bypass that song. It was interesting. It, it seemed like, like that was another interlude that was kind of giving more context. Frank mentions how a good guy, who was likely a friend of his, was able to find someone that might be interested in pursuing. So the friend... Hooked it up. Hooked them up together. I'm, I'm assuming it's with a man. That's what I'm assuming. Then I love the little details. Then here's said, when I realize you talk more than I do. Just noticing those yeah. little things about people and those little differences. Like that. That's what I mean by the songwriting. It, it's so... His songwriting is very sporadic, but it's like every thought counts. Yeah. I, that's the only way I know how to put it. Yeah. Because he's saying, I ain't got bitches no more. So like... And I literally ain't got bitches no more. 
That's how I was taking it. It was niggas. Between two guys, the first guy seems straight and not really interested in the other guy's opinion. He just wants to hear himself talk and rant. But his heart's been broken. Exactly. Who all the bitches in the neighborhood want to fuck seems much more reserved. Like Frank is. See? Yeah, yes. Because I ain't got bitches no more. Indicates that he's not comfortable and, and that he might be. Yeah. Like, I, yes, yep, yes, yep. 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 Everybody needs you. No, you can't make everybody equal. Mm. You don't even got nobody being honest with you. Breathe till I evaporate. I don't trust them anyways. You can't break the law with them. Working through your worst night. Mm. If I get my money right, you know I won't need you. And I tell you, yeah. I hope the track is full up. Can't keep up a conversation. Can't nobody read you. Why your eyes well up? Did you call me from a seance? I've been out here head first Always like the head first See them coming in and out right, yeah. Ain't no bitch in my body <laughs> New beginning uh, New Who beginning Wake up high, the sun's going down Every night, every day Drop the baby off at home before my night You know I can hear the spend the night All them boys wanna see me broke down Bumped out and shit, show the marijuana, that's what you've been kids, my everyday shit. Every night fucks every day up. Mm. Every day patches the night up. No way lighter, still I fuck my 28th up. 1998, my family had the acro. Oh, the legend. A couple bishops in the city building mansions. Oh, the reverend. After Trina hit, I had a chance for Kevin. Now that makes sense. Now that makes sense. So much shit. Fucking on you when I didn't own the mattress. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's been the night. My God. Okay, okay, okay. Um, nights. I definitely like that. That's another one that's in my top five. Yeah, me too. Um, I liked the lyric structure. I liked the two parts of the song. Yeah. And that thing in the beginning felt more like a glitch in the system. A yeah. glitch in the mind, almost. Like, a switch. And even describing, you know, maybe even the switch in his life that he's describing. Yes. Relocating to Houston from New Orleans because of Hurricane Katrina. Katrina. Is yeah. that what it was? Yeah. I like how we dug more into that. And this relationship, I guess, he was in or uh, deal this person he was dealing with prior to that or during that. Yeah. Um, and how it kind of made things difficult. Yeah. But how there were already pre-existing issues. You know, I like this line, everybody needs you, but you can't make everybody equal. It strikes me as making yeah. time for that person. You know, I understand you got... Honest to God, true. Obligations everywhere, but it's like, don't forget about me, don't forget about home. Yeah, exactly. I take it as the first verse in the first part of the song, mm -hmm. the nice shit that's kind of fucking up the relationship a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's, like you said, just making time for people. Mm -hmm. um, because you, you can't forget yourself. You gotta make time for yourself. Yeah. So that when you get to the second part, it's it's a new kind of night because it's a whole new state, a whole new city. The, the night of life, the, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 all new. And so now that makes sense as to why Hurricane Katrina means so much and why it's kind of repeated because mm -hmm. that was a really big change in his life to yeah. have to just uproot everything and go. And that could either be a great thing or not. Yeah. I feel like this song does a very good job of balancing the masculine and mm -hmm. the feminine. Yeah, and I like how it's called nights because it's describing all these different kinds of nights. Yeah. Literal nights. Yeah. Right? Um, that every night shit that he does, which is, I guess, rolling up maybe. Right, um, right. But also, like I said, the nights of life and how you can go through these dark periods and what happens within them. 
So yeah. I, I liked that song a lot. That Me was, too. That was really good. Yeah. Eh. Eh. So now I'm solo I'm that I can see under the skirt of an eh. Solo my cup is a roll of my toe of my friend. Solo that I can admit. When I hear that another kid is shot by the purple, it ain't an event. When I do, I cut the pony off. Now there's a hole that once was a logo. How fitting. Solo that I can give a fuck about what it's oh, trending. Love that. Trying to cut down on my spending regardless of winning instead of pretending. Mm. And bending over backwards, over half of the whole head work done. Mm. Solo that when they throw pussy or pesos, don't pay no attention to it. I'm gonna appreciate this. I, I couldn't even like, I have to go Solo back and read. Solo that when they throw pussy or pesos, don't pay no attention to it. After 20 years in, I'm so naive I was under the impression that everyone wrote their heart. It's coming back different and yeah, that shit hurts. I was under the impression that all y'all wrote your own verses. What happened? And that's coming from Andre. Please, Andres. please don't get me started on that. To those not deserving, I stumbled and lived everywhere. Was I working just way too hard? Woo! Damn. Was I working too hard? Damn. You've got to be one special motherfucker to get Andre 3000 to hop up on that and and do a whole minute long verse. That's best. What the fuck? Wow, was that? what the fuck? The uh, uh, the amount of times that he could tell you how low he was. That that's my biggest yeah. thing. Yeah. Andre is one of the greatest to ever do it. Yeah, sorry. He deserves sorry, his not sorry. I feel like if you don't know that, you don't know much. You don't so, know you, you don't know culture. Solo my cup is a rojo. The red solo cups? Yeah. My trolo, my friend solo that I can admit when I hear that another kid is shot by the popo within an event. No more. It's not an event anymore because it's it, 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 you've heard it so many times that it's like you're not even fucking faced. This felt and, like another venting session. That's what yes, this album feels like. Yes. Just, just pouring out your emotions, which yes. again is something that men don't do, especially black men. Black men are taught you hide those emotions, yes. you do not pour them out, you do, you not, do not cry, cry because not, it's more and that would feminine. Explain boys don't cry. Yes. So again, this album is blending the two, the masculine and the feminine. Yes. Essentially with showing that it's okay to be masculine and also be in touch with your feminine because yes, it's about absolutely. balance. You should balance the two. Ah, just like because you can and it's important to. Yeah. It's important to. I, I love that. I love wow, that, that added was, to the album. Yeah, wow, that was very well done, Andre. I, I want to break this down so bad. Wow, I, I love hip hop. Wow. I love lyrics. I love rappers. I love writers. And like you said, that that hit so hard. Yeah. I was. Under the impression that everyone wrote their own verses is coming back different, and yeah, that shit hurts me. I, I put in all this work, I worked on my craft, and I see y'all getting what I had to work ten times harder for, and you don't even write your shit. Because you're watching how the culture is shifting, too. Yes, how the culture has shifted over the years. Wow. Like, wow. Yeah, ten, ten, ten. Tens across the board. Ten. I'm not sure what it means by I'm on this side yet, but it sounds like a switch sonically. Yeah. Which makes it seem like we're switching sides. Now we're switching to the other side of the coin. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. The second part, you know. So true. Not they said he got sugar in the tank. They said he got a little bit of sugar in his tank. It reminds me of like how kids used to like tease you in school. Yeah. And kind of like call you things that you didn't really even understand at the time. Yeah. But no, that one was really, really different. Um, I wanted to highlight this line down here. Mothers of us be kind to the fathers on whom we rely. Then fathers of us be kind to the mothers on whom we lie. Again, that balance between the masculine and the feminine. The balance between the mother and the father within the household. Absolutely. Uh, not only is that something I feel we should have within ourselves, but it's important to also see that yes. in your surroundings. Yes. So I like how that's carrying the theme of 
the album as a whole. Very chaotic, but in a yeah. good way, in the best way possible. The ending, I called it. Um, I heard like, you're like sugar. I was like, yeah, you're like, like sugar in the tank. Like, right. you know, they got a little sweetness to it. Mm. This one has a little sweetness to it. It's like an interlude yeah. to me, but like, let's say we're coming up on like three interludes. Yeah, it feels like another breakup between the two parts of the album, but as well as yeah. the duality. I love the line, this is the blood, the body, the life right now. Like, this is everything oh, okay. right and now, I like what the, it feels yeah, like. I like that reference um, too. But what it means to be alive on this side, maybe what it means to be alive on this side of freedom. Yeah, like freedom I was of just expression. thinking that, like, being, being free, being yeah. your true authentic self. No, I was just telling that I got this, this girl before, and I was together since three years. I was not even cheating her or what. Uh, she wanted me to accept her on Facebook. And I don't want it because I was like in front of her. In front of her and she told me like, accept me on Facebook. In front of you, I don't need to accept you on Facebook. She started to be crazy. She thought that because I didn't accept her, she thought I was cheating. It's over, I can't believe you. It, uh, I said, God, you're crazy. I'm in front of you, I'm every day here in your house. Pure jealousy for nothing. No, that's your thing. Might be one of my favorites. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, I like the beat on that one. That was really nice. Uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't devastated, but you could have pulled my hand through this. But, Facebook story. Um, Sebastian, why didn't you accept my girl? What happened? No, why, why well, you wasn't. I I understood the point though. No, I love it because he said, I'm right in front of you. This yeah. is all we need right here. Right. And she wanted to turn it into this thing where it was like, you should want me and all, like blah, 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 and this virtual right. thing. And, right. and he's like, no, I'm right in front of your face. Yeah. This is all that matters. Yeah. And I like how it's this thing about being in person and then you go to close to you. I really like that. So I, I understood the Facebook story. I understood Sebastian. I understood it. But I was also like, damn. You accepted everybody but her. Of course you're going to be a little bit like, what you doing? I, I think that's more so a testament of how the mind works. Yeah. And how, I guess, maybe there's a distrust there in a lot of relationships. Yeah. He was saying, no yeah, people are that, it. but you are this. Right, right. And I'm right here with you. So, right. yeah. I, I liked, I liked that. I liked that. But it's true this comment said, or you can just accept her friend request. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to understand why wouldn't you just accept her? Oh, I think it's the principle there. What? Okay, I can understand if you only wanted to be accepted to prove that you're not cheating, you don't really and trust it's like, me. You know, I yeah. understand that. But if she was really just like, oh, accept my friend request, and you're like, no. Now that I'm like, all right, Sebastian, come on. But this was this was a cool addition. Yeah. These three tracks. I like I liked good. close to you though a lot. That was a nice little cover. Yeah. Shout it was out good. to Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Bad luck to talk on these rides. Mine on the road. Your dilated eyes, white Ferrari. Mm. Had a good time. How was I supposed to know? I let you out. We're both so familiar. Stick a close by. Texas speeds, Texas speed, yes. Careful, you still and I will forever. That was my part of the deal. So familiar. Spending each day of the year. Good times. In this life. Zoom. 
thinking about what that sounds like um, first that comes to my mind is something fast yeah right um, but also when you think about it I guess maybe something reliable something pretty something new the color white something pure even yeah. reminds me kind of like of that innocence maybe or something that has just started and appears to be one thing yeah but maybe ends up being another okay. similar to was it Ivy? Back when things were blonde. Yeah. Another uh I, I take it as something that. that was so fast. Yeah. Um, but holds a lot of good memories. And it's all really about like reminiscing and remembering what was and honestly what isn't mm -hmm. anymore. The ending I really like too. Frank's voice was very strong on this beat and I really appreciate I liked, that. Yeah, Especially because we're nearing the end of the album. You see a little bit of the sonic switch. Uh, which I appreciate. I liked Wet Ferrari. Mm -hmm. I won't say it's my like absolute favorite off this album, but I appreciate it because it it brings a very realistic perspective. Kind of wanting this this moment to continue. Yeah, continue. I'm slowly putting together my top five in my head. This one could be in there, um, just because I love how sweet it is. And then I wanted to add on to uh, reading here. The love is represented by the Ferrari, something that is both rare, desirable, extremely valuable, and precious. Yeah. So almost like something you want to keep intact, too. Yeah. I think it's one of my you favorite ones. Even if it's just stuff. in memory. Yeah, exactly. You know, White Ferrari reminds him of the good times. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I like this one. Your speckled face I couldn't gauge your fears I can't relate to my peers I'd rather chip my pride Than lose my mind down here Love that Maybe I'm a fool Two kids in a swimming pool mm. I'm not brave Brave And taking in the homeless sometimes Been living in an idea An idea from another man's mind Settle The pressures of hyper-masculinity maybe Been living in an idea, an idea from another man's mind Following I guess what maybe other men feel Like men should act like Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Or just society in general being around Society is beautiful, yeah hmm. <laughs> Try hell. What would you recommend that you have to say? Try hell. I'm stuck on that try hell. This is not my life. Yeah. It's just a fun feel of a Speaking of Nirvana, it was there. Dreaming the thought that could dream about a thought that could think of the dream of the thought that could think of dreaming and getting a glimmer of God. Mm. I be dreaming and dreaming the thought that could dream about a thought that could think of dreaming a dream where I cannot. Oh, wow. Damn. Okay. Where I cannot. Less morose and more present. Dwell on my gifts for a second. Why not? Spin this flammable paper on the film that's my life. High flights. 
Inhale the vapor, exhale once and think twice See some colors, light hang glide off the moon I do for you in the dark I do in the dark I do for you. anything I think that's actually one of my favorites. Um, I love it. I love the line, I'm not brave because I feel like he's basically saying, I'm not brave because I'm not living as my authentic self. And mm. because I'm scared to live as my authentic self, I am willing to suppress how I feel, suppress what I really want or yeah. could potentially want in life. And settle for the swimming pool, the wife, the two kids. When in hindsight, that might not be my future. So mm -hmm. I'm not brave though. I'm, I'm not brave. Yeah. I, I might put myself out there, but I'm not putting myself out there fully. Again, you're thinking, I do anything for you in the dark. For the how a man is supposed to be, mm -hmm. Frank is saying, I don't fit that mold. Mm -hmm. So anything I do that doesn't fit that mold, it can't be done publicly. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. It moves from his love life to his inner life and then back out to his love life. And I think that that's a good way of putting the flow yeah. of the song. But addressing that, that failed romance we picked up on that line in the beginning. Kind of like debating, damn, two kids in a swimming pool. Should I just go and do that? Because it'd be easier than living with this, hiding this, and, and having to navigate this life. Exactly. Um, and then like yeah. you were talking about with, with not being brave, sometimes it's easier to just... Avoid doing the brave thing and do the safe thing. Exactly. But that's not a happy life, mm -mm. you know? Um, and so he gets to a desperate point where he's like, I've tried hell. It ain't really get me anywhere. So at this point, what would you recommend? But yeah, I, I don't know. There's a lot here to like think about. That whole dreamer part confused the shit out of me. It's a lot. He it's dream lot. about thoughts what? and the thoughts are dreaming about the thoughts that he is dreaming. dreaming. And I want you guys to know that. I liked it. I'm, I'm lost in it, but I know that there's some speculation of who it could be about. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Siegfried? Siegfried? Um, Siegfried? Siegfried. So that's what I'm saying. When it comes to Frank's music, clearly he is very layered. Back half of the album feels much softer. Maybe that's the feminine? Yeah. A little bit? I can't take it. Yet. Now listen, Kim, my, listen. Come on. I don't know about the LGBTQ. For all I know, that means let God be true quickly. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. Kim may say some out-of-pocket shit, but <laughs> that, that, ass that ass? lady has a beautiful voice. You cannot take that away from her. How'd she get on this one? Yes, she did. I didn't realize that this song was Godspeed, and I absolutely yeah. love this song. Um, from the moment it started, as you can see, Jordan knew exactly what was gonna, what song yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I've heard um, this before, just the beginning. I love it, I love it, and, and it's about leaving someone. Yeah. But not doing so in a nasty way. It's, yeah, I'll no. always love you. It's just, we can't, be, we are not right for each other. I like how that follows the last track, because yeah. describing someone that you had these romantic feelings for, but just knowing that ultimately, it's, it can't be. Yeah. So... I like Godspeed. I love Godspeed, actually. Same. It feels like it goes uh, hand in hand with self control almost. But in this way, it's a little bit more of an acceptance. 
yeah of what cannot be and why and just wishing that person godspeed i wish you all the best i wish you you know favor and even bringing god into it a little bit yeah a um, lot of religious yeah for sure because i'm sure that that's been you know a part of his life life yeah um and so that constant like tug of war within yourself too yeah uh is interesting to dig into on this album too but um yeah yeah i don't know it feels encouraging for context of the album i, I like godspeed a lot yeah Sure, free, he got the font. I don't know. But I was being honest, I sit long as I can fuck three times a day and not skip a meal, I'm good. I used to work on my feet for seven dollars an hour. Call my mama like mama. I ain't making minimum wage, mama. I'm on mama. 800 k mama, stand on my feet, mama. I should yeah. be paying them. I should be paying y'all honest to God. Okay, I'm that feeling feeling. like I'm a god, but I'm not a god. If I was, I don't know which heaven would have me, mama. Mm, huh. Fuck these niggas, I don't wanna fuck these niggas. Fuck me, if I hit it on you. Yeah. Or maybe not just like me, you know, I'm Africano, Americano. And even if you have Japanese roots, run deep, family tree, throw a big shadow. Yeah. I pull a zip down. Not even fade the stress. Wet your lips first, lick the tip now. I like that part of the song. Um. Make sure you speak up. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? What do you do? No. Mm. What's your first memory? The first word I learned to say and that I ever said. What's the most amazing thing you've ever witnessed? <laughs> What three superpowers do you wish you had? Me. <laughs> Yo, what? What? What's the your dog? Stop! 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 Very, very tall, and everybody It's so So what I'm getting, this feels like memories, but also like just a conversation between friends, further emphasizing where he was to where he is now, and how things have changed, talking about the future and now being in the future, when they were blonde, in terms of mentality, just life, like when they were younger. Like this is this this feels like they're talking about things that they would do if they were able to, or things they would know if they could. So it feels like reflection, like the evolution that like we were saying in the beginning. So it actually feels like a full circle moment. Oh, I like that. Interesting. Oddly enough, that was a very long outro. Very I don't long think outro. I have ever sat through 
something that long. That long. But I stand by that. I think that that was the point of that song to really just reflect on where yeah. he was, where he's going, where he is now, and kind of just be grateful and thankful that he's made it. And, you know, for the song to begin with him talking to his mom, right? Yeah. And just being like, you know, look where we're at and showing that gratefulness and saying, I should pet y'all yeah. for this experience, the fact that y'all, you know... Absolutely. Spend this on me, pay attention, yeah. listen to me. You know, it's like, I'm just a guy, I'm not a god. Sometimes I feel like I'm a god, but I know yeah, I'm not. I'm you yeah. know what I mean? It's just that I've made it. Yeah. And I think that that's important to highlight, you know? It's your second album. Some artists don't even make it to that. That's and to truth. know that this was as successful as it was, that just feels like a beautiful thing. Yeah. Even some self-reflection and saying, hey, I've been a hater, and fuck me if I have, too. It was a very introspective song. Yes. As well. I ain't had a job since 2009. I ain't on no sales floor. Like, just being grateful for where you're <laughs> that's at. That's the truth. And putting in work. And this isn't the first time he spoke about success on the album. But yeah. I like that we ended there. Me too. Why is it called Future or Free? Maybe playing off future. Yeah. Freedom. For, yeah. Interesting. That was really, really cool. It. All really, the accomplishments. Yeah. That was the, I actually liked that as a closer. Yeah. Well, guys, that was our first time listening to Frank Ocean's Blonde. Yes. And we, we about seven years late. Yeah. However, I feel like this was the most appropriate time to listen to I it. I think so. Um, I really liked it from the production to him vocally, lyrically, all of it. It was a very well done, I, I see why people call it a masterpiece because can that, yeah. you can see the time that was taken to create this body of work. Yeah, It really was something special and it's an hour on the dot, but I feel like if it wasn't for us stopping to talk about the songs and just mm -hmm. letting it flow, oh, yeah. I feel like this is a very easy listen. Yeah. I mean, Frank Ocean has um, kept his fans starving for a very long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. But <laughs> when you have an album like Blonde to go back and listen to, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, some, some, I still get fed without being fed. Right. He's a genius when it comes to mm -hmm. storytelling and, and switching up the flows and allowing all of his talents to shine. Yeah. I, I really like that a lot about this album. Agreed. Definitely got an ear for music. He is definitely an artist, you know, um, in yeah. terms of his lyrics. Like I've been saying the whole video, you know, I just feel like he says things that we're thinking but don't know how to put into words. Thinking yes. or feeling. Yeah. And I love how chaotic it is sometimes because the mind yeah. is really like that. Um, so I, I, I love that about this album. It had very relevant messaging. Yeah. You know, very relevant messages still to this day. I think that that's why it's easy to connect with this at any point in time. Yes. Because there's always going to be someone dealing with love, dealing with sex, dealing with drugs, dealing with accomplishments, you know, they're finding their identity, which I think was yeah. a big part of this. Yes. You know identity. what I mean? Finding your identity and who you are, what your place is in the world, and how to find that balance even within yourself. Yeah. So I, I think that message was very clearly conveyed. This is probably the one of the most different albums I've listened to. Yeah. Um, I knew going in it wasn't going to be a traditional R&B, traditional pop, At all. but it definitely sounds like Frank's own sound. Yes, so absolutely. I'm glad we listened There's to this album. He's done for the culture, just music. For sure. What is your top five? Top five for a 17 track album? Top, top seven? Top seven. Can we do top seven? Top seven. I'm going to start with what I know for sure. Okay. Solo, Pink and White, Self Control, Nights, Ivy. Godspeed, okay, and Siegfried? I don't know, but those are gonna be my top seven. Okay, my top seven in no particular order: Ivy, Pink and White, Solo, Knights, Siegfried, Track 15, Godspeed, and I'm stuck between. I know I said it wasn't my favorite, but I'm stuck between White Ferrari mm. and Future of Free. Really. Okay, I can I respect might have to that. Give it to future. Ooh, yeah, good I might, point. I might have to. See, because I was even stuck with. I love self control though. Nikes didn't make the cut, but I, I really liked that. I loved close to you as well. Yeah, just but, I guess I'm thinking about an experience overall. But I love be yourself. You know, that's not even a real song. Honest, my girl was spitting. I like Skyline too. I already told you I thought about White Fire. So I don't yeah, know. No, I, I know. know. This is the thing. This oh, is the I thing. thought it was good. Yeah, I, I think that this is a timeless album. Clearly, y'all still talking about it. So, Seriously. I feel like over time, maybe favorites change. Yeah. If it's hard to pick your top on an album, that means it was really good. So, blonde, guys. Blonde. 
We're blonded. As always, we'd love to know what you guys thought about this masterpiece. Let us know your top seven down below in the comments. If you enjoyed watching us react, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. That way you know when we upload. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.